Okay, in this screencast, we are actually going to create a watermark in Final Cut Pro. So we're going to uh, say new sequence. I'm going to open the sequence and go to sequence settings with command zero because I want to set up the sequence for really just to create a watermark. So for frame size, I'm going to say custom and we're going to set up, say, uh, about a 400 wide, 100 high sequence. Pixel aspect ratio, square. Editing time base doesn't matter, but we're going to pick 24 because it sounds cool. And compressor. This is important because we're going to choose ping. And under the advanced button, we're going to choose for the depth, millions of colors plus. The plus means alpha channel, which means we can include transparency, which is what we want for a watermarker. You won't be able to see your video behind it. So ping, millions of colors plus, okay. So now we're all set up with our frame size, kind of wide and not very tall. So now we'll say okay. Next, we're gonna go to the generator pop-up and we're going to choose Boris Title 3D. And we're just going to make this a one frame title. So we'll type a one in the duration field. And then we'll just add this to our sequence and press Shift Z so we can kind of see it. Double click it, and we'll hit the controls tab and then text entry and style. Click for options. I'm going to click this, and here we are. For our watermark, I'm going to type uh, DV Kitchen. Then I'm going to highlight the text. We're going to choose a big, bold font. It's good for a watermark, something like uh, oh, that's condensed. How about black extended? That looks good. Now, we are going to actually turn the fill off. So these tabs along the left, this one with the little gradient, allows you to choose a fill, and we are going to uncheck that. So we have no fill. The next tab down is the edge. And for edge style, I'm going to choose a bevel. And we're going to turn this style on with the checkbox. So now we've got a bevel. We've got the width of the bevel. We can make it a little bit wider. And for position, we're going to say outside. So now we've got a little beveled outside. If we want, we can head back to this very top tab where we can adjust the tracking so the letters are a little farther apart. Then we'll head back to the bevel tab and we can change the highlight angle. So we can change uh, where the light appears to be coming from, find something we like, and there it is. Again, we can tweak edge width and just make it look however we want. And now that we're done, we'll click Apply. You can see now how it looks against a uh, checkerboard background. And then we're just going to say File, Export, QuickTime Movie. That's it. And we'll call it uh, DV Kitchen Watermark. And we'll save it. Now there's only one thing we need to do before we bring it into DV Kitchen, which is double click it. To open it in a QuickTime player, go to Window, Show Movie Properties, or press Command J. We're going to click the soundtrack and delete it, timecode track and delete it, and the video track. We're going to head down here to Visual Settings, and we're going to choose for the Transparency menu, Straight Alpha Blend. So you only have to do this once when you first create your watermark. After that, you can use it on as many videos as you want. But you do have to go into your video track, visual settings, set it to straight alpha blend or straight alpha. Either one of those work. Now, we'll save it. File, save, and that's it. We're all done. We can quit out of QuickTime, jump into DV Kitchen, and let's just apply the watermark. Let's import a clip. Something, maybe this one. And you'll notice that there's a checkbox down here in the Movie Properties panel that says Watermark. And if I check this, we're going to go into our new watermarking room. I can choose Watermark Image. By clicking this, we'll choose our watermark we made. And there it is. We can scale it small, large. We can position it wherever we want. There's also Center Vertical, Center Horizontal. And 
That's all there is to it. Now, if the opacity looks a little dark and we want to adjust that, all we have to do is double click this to open it. Command J gets us to our properties, video track, transparency, straight alpha blend. And we're going to bring it down to, well, we're going to bring it down about halfway. Now, if we go back to straight alpha blend, we'll see it should be a little bit lighter. And now if we save it, we'll reset, choose watermark image, choose it again. And now we can see that it is much more subtle. And maybe that's the look we would prefer. And let's scale that down a little bit. And there we go. We save and exit. Now we're ready to go. Let's just uh, crunch this to a quick spec setting. Now this is the first incarnation of watermarking. We've got a lot of plans for that, as well as everything else about DB Kitchen. So definitely keep checking for updates on a regular basis. Now that we are finished, we can open our export folder and look at that movie. And look at that, looks very nice. Very high quality watermark. Sweet.